Hey again, and welcome back. Just a quick video today. I think I found a better way to get into these CFLs. If you've seen my previous video on CFL salvaging, um, I, I kind of just cut this part away. But I think there's a better way. Now, I'm not sure if I should take off this cap or not, but there is a wire coming up here. It does prevent us from reaching the insides. But I've noticed that this section here is actually just clipped on and a lot of the times it's not even glued so you you can tell there's a little notch here because there's a way to line it up you see that notch line up this part with this part so I'm guessing uh, that's how they line it up in the factory and how they get clipped together so if I give this a gentle pressure and I'm gonna try not to break the the actual glass but you just give this a gentle pressure and I might get enough leverage here to actually pop one side open. I'm trying my best not to break the tube here. Just giving it a little pressure. Let's see if I can break in. My uh, screwdriver is a bit big for this. There we go. See it popped? So now you can take a bigger screwdriver, a thicker one, and just sort of work it around here. The problem is this plastic is extremely brittle. I'm going to release the vise. And try again here. So you just give it a little bit of pressure and not too much because you will actually break the glass. Come on out. Up here is the weakest spot when you're squeezing when you're squeezing it on this side. The uh, top and bottom are the weakest spots. I'm going to release this. It does take a bit of patience. You do have to really Take your time. See, there it pops out again. I'm trying my best here to work around and not, not break the tube. Once it's loose, though, it comes out a lot easier. Okay, so we got one side open here. I'm going to try to work my way around the screwdriver and I'll show you what I mean by it's just clipped oh here we go another clip released another one and another one okay so now you can see see right there see a little clip so now if I give this a little bit of a twist, I should be able to break the wire connections. Without breaking the uh, the tube here. Oh, careful. See now I'm pulling up on the board here? That's bad. That means I'm stressing the glass tube, which I don't want to do. What I can do though is I can snip these posts here, if you remember my last video, these posts here are what hold the uh, the tube inside. It's a little wire going to the tube. If I snip the posts, I also snip the wire that holds the tube. There's one. There's two. The other side here. That's one. Can't really see the other one. I'm trying my best just to break. There's one, there's two wires coming up to these connections, one and two here. And I just try and just trying to break them without breaking the glass tube. There we go. It let go. Okay, I'm going to break this one off. 
this post. And there we go. So now we have the CFL, the uh, tube part, which you can safely throw away. And then here we have the internal portion. And I'll just snip this wire here. And there we go. Now you can take this and remove all these nice film capacitors. And uh, this is actually, there's one of these two wires is solid core. So I'm going to keep the solid core wire for breadboarding. I'm going to snip that off. So there we go. You can see there, solid core. And you can even save, this capacitor is easy to save because it's got really long leads from the factory. So I'm just going to snip them off down there. One. And two. There we go, capacitor saved. And then you just have to heat these guys up. One, two, three, four, five film capacitors. And if you want to keep the inductors, keep the inductors. The resistors are kind of useless unless you want to really, um, this looks like a half watt or maybe a one watt resistor. You've got another half watt there. You've got a couple diodes. There's not too much on this board worth keeping, but the capacitors are definitely worth keeping. So I hope this little tip helped you, and once again, thanks for watching.